guys welcome back okay so today's video is going to be kind of like a quick or short little beauty haul slash beauty chat <laughs> kind of like my last beauty chat video i just kind of went through my latest purchases and just talked about them showed them to you guys talked about them gave some of my pre-use thoughts um on the items and kind of why I bought them. And I wanted to do that again. I look, I have a problem. I shop every day. <laughs> I do, I have a problem. Um, when a day goes by and I didn't buy not one thing that has to do with makeup, it's, it's like, what? You know, it's shocking because I just, I like buying makeup. I like trying new things. So anyways, that is what this video is going to be. I just want to go through and let me just let you know right off the bat, this video is palette heavy. I mean, most of my small haul, large haul, haul period videos are palette heavy because I'm a palette junkie. So this is real palette heavy. It's maybe about five things in here that's not palettes. <laughs> so just FYI. So I just want to kind of show you guys my latest purchases and talk about them a little bit. Y'all, why, why, why did I need this? Why did I decide to buy this? This is the Profusion Kaleidoscope Palette. Um, I think it was like exclusive to Walmart at one point in time, but I know they did have it on their website, but it was sold out. So I did go ahead and order mine from walmart.com. Y'all. I don't know. I have like a soft spot in my heart for Profusion, <laughs> even though they can be hit or miss. Uh, I mean, for their pricing, they're they're pretty hit, you know, pretty hit. So I did go ahead and order this palette. I don't even remember how much it was. Was it like 17 bucks or something on Walmart.com? I don't know. But of course, you know, these shades on the side, I don't see myself using except for like transition shades for eyeshadow. This one here, I think that I can use that as a blush because sometimes I do just like a soft flush of color on my cheeks for blush. All of these glitters down here, Lord knows I don't need no more glitter, especially pressed glitter in a palette, but I do love a beautiful glitter. Every blue moon, I do like to use a glitter. But of course, these other colors and shades in this palette are so pretty. I mean, the blues and the greens, I'll do it like this. So I won't have too much glare. Pinks and purples, you know, it's just, it's pretty. And I know that's why I bought it because it's pretty. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to play with this because I'm curious about the quality on this. Like I said, Profusion can be a little hit or miss for me, but... For the most part, you know, with their pricing, they're hit. I like them. Uh, what else did I get? Now, in my discovery or attempt to discover new indie brands, I came across, gosh, I wish I could remember who I saw talking about MBA Cosmetics. I don't know if I actually saw somebody talking about them. I think I did, though, or if I just saw it on Instagram, you know on one of the indie hotspot or indie makeup spotlight channels or whatever on Instagram. I don't know if I saw it there or not, but it's called MBA Cosmetics and they have singles, you know, they have these, it's like, it's a palette, a grouping of a color story of single shadows that you could purchase is eight shadows and they have like several different ones, like six to eight different groupings of shadows that you can choose from for like 20 bucks. If you want to add an extra $4, you can get the little palette to put it in. I actually wish I wouldn't have purchased the small palettes because I'm probably going to end up just including them with the rest of my single shadows or giving them their own palette. So I could have saved myself the $4 for that. But I did pick up some of their singles to try out. Now I chose five five out of the different groupings or color stories that they had 
And this one, I see when I got this, I thought that these palettes were going to have their own cute little designed palette, but they didn't. So what I did was with this first one here, I started to write the name on the side of the collection. And I, I didn't like that. <laughs> I was like, I don't like that at all. So anyway, I'm, you know talking a lot but with the other four as I started to unwrap them and put them in their own palettes what I did was I took the little design that comes with the single package of shadows and I taped it <laughs> to the front of the palette so that I would know which palette it is so it's kind of cheesy I don't really like it I wish that each palette had its own little design, but it doesn't, so whatever. So this one here is called the Sekiles palette. I don't know if it's pronounced Sekiles or Sekiles, but these are the colors in this palette. Very pretty. Kind of cool tone, you know, but I like those colors. Very cute. This one is the Garden Party Collection. And the reason I don't have a cover on this palette is because I didn't realize that I wanted to do this until after I had already thrown, <laughs> thrown the little decorative packaging away for that. But this one is called Garden Party Collection. And this is what this one looks like. So it definitely gives you that feel of like a rose garden, you know nice soft subtle if you don't want anything too dramatic this is the hippie chic collection hippie chic very pretty bright bold colors and these i think are all like that soft soft satin yeah i think these are all the soft satins very pretty this one is the glow with the flow collection neon pigments and so these are the super duper bright <laughs> shadows very very pretty i'm really drawn to that green and that yellow it's nice to have a white in here too though so i'm curious about that and the last one i got is the viva la vida collection viva la vida collection and this is what this one looks like so some cute little pops of color in there to play with is this one all satin? No, it looks like there's a couple of mattes in there. But yeah, that one's a pretty color story as well. So I didn't swatch any of these for you guys today just because of the fact that I do want to do a separate video swatching these and getting a feel for them and also using one. So, you know, I can let you guys know my thoughts on these different shadows. Now, I also picked up a couple of their lipsticks because I was curious, you know, while I was on the website shopping around and I got kind of some more bold shades. This one, mm, mm, mm. this one is in the shade Safari and this one is in the shade Nocturnal, Nocturnal eternal very very pretty so let me swatch these right quick okay so they're kind of watery a little watery but they definitely have the pigmentation but yeah they're a little bit more watery than i'm used to but the colors are very pretty very very bold i want to do some type of like really bold eclectic eye look and pop on that kind of safari green lip this purple blue, very pretty. Okay, next here I have this e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette. When I saw this, I thought it was so cute. I saw a couple of people reviewing it, talking about it. And, you know, I just kind of like the different type of retro shades and colors that they combine for this palette. I thought it was cute. It was actually more cute to me online than <laughs> when I got it in person. I was like, mm, it's okay. But anyways, I did use this palette. So you will see a video of me using this palette if I haven't uploaded it already. But yeah, then you can hear my thoughts on that. Now this palette here is 
black owned brand i actually showed this in my video what was it the palette tag because i had received this palette that very day so this was my newest palette at the time so this is from glam doll cosmetics and it is the vibes palette very very pretty packaging i love that design on there and it's a pretty large palette too you know lord knows i didn't need this <laughs> at all but you know i really wanted to support a black owned brand try them out you know i buy all this makeup and all these palettes and stuff from all of these non black owned brands non women owned brands and stuff so i'm like you know what let me go ahead and support a sister okay so yeah very cute definitely want to try this out i think i'm kind of due for a bright rainbow eye look so I don't know what I'm gonna use but that might be one of them <laughs> now I did do some shopping during the last Ulta sale did they have a sale around the 4th of July I don't know honey it seems like they did though had a little sale during the 4th of July and so I picked up a couple of things of course but this here is one of the iHeart Revolution highlighter illuminator <laughs> and this is the one that's shaped like an apple when these first came out i was curious i actually wanted one i was like you know that's cute let me go ahead and try that out but i never grabbed it never picked it up because when they first dropped i don't think this one was available on ulta not sure but yeah it was some reason why i didn't grab it it has like the faint smell of imitation apple <laughs> <laughs> a faint hint of imitation apple but look at that isn't that gorgeous oh she pretty let me see here oh honey child honey child look at that do you see that and that's like that really pretty highlight but you know it's like soft it's not anything that would be too much oh yes honey i could see that on my cheek already okay little apple apple blossom what is this <laughs> yeah the iheart revolution highlighter this is the little apple one tasty fruit so yeah i'm excited about that oh yeah she pretty i also picked up these two little palettes from lottie london these are collab palettes with layla loves layla loves i don't know who she is but i thought these were cute um i didn't need these after i purchased them and thought about it it was like i got those uh huda beauty palettes that i don't like <laughs> those neon ones but who knows this these might be better than those you never know because those was trash <laughs> but these are the two that they came out and collabed with for her very very pretty bright bold colors and you know it's nice to have these type of shadows like for the spring and the summer if you just want to do something a little different you know so let me just swatch a couple of these just so i can get a feel for whether or not they're going to be trash <laughs> let's check them out i'll do a couple of mattes and a couple of shimmers let me make sure i got that highlighter off okay so that's not too not too bad not too bad at all um and these were pretty reasonable i believe i don't remember were they like seven bucks a piece i don't know honey but i don't remember paying a lot of money for these let me do a couple more swatches of these shimmers already i feel like they're going to be better than the um the huda beauty palettes to be honest with you yeah there's some pigment there there is okay okay we cute we cute <laughs> so i got these two but one thing i don't like about them is that the layla loves part is only on the outside sleeve it's nowhere on the actual palette at least i don't see it on the front or on the back so it kind of sucks because i'm gonna throw these away and i'm probably not even gonna remember who this collab was with <laughs> So, oh well. I picked up another palette from um, the Ulta sale, but this one is a highlighter palette from Essence. This is the Pure Nude Sunlighter Palette. 
Now, I went ahead and grabbed this because I was very impressed with their bronzer palette um, and, you know, how that performs. So, yeah, I really like that. And I said, you know what, let me try this little highlighter palette and check it out. So let me swatch some of these for you guys. Okay, so they are very, very pigmented very pigmented have a really nice pretty sheen to them yeah yeah definitely i would be using that one in the center for sure i also picked up this morphe face palette um i didn't know about these i'm assuming they're fairly new but i didn't know that they had came out with some deeper face palettes and when i saw this i was like whoa that is really pretty. So the one that I have is 8D, which is the Deep Glam. And this is what it looks like with the bronzers and the blush and the contour. Oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty, you guys. So gorgeous. I can't wait to try it out. Let me do just a couple of swatches so you guys can see what's happening. Okay, yes, <laughs> yes, that is some pigment and it is definitely deep. Okay, Morphe, I see you trying to come for Sephora's neck. Y'all know that, that deep Sephora face palette? Now that one has some serious pigment to it, but this one, hello. Okay, I'm really excited, that's pretty. Now this palette, I'm not exactly sure why I grabbed it. It's from Catrice Cosmetics. It's called Instabay. I don't know, maybe I was feeling neutral or something that day. But if you look at this packaging, this packaging does not reflect what's inside this palette at all, okay? Look at this palette. <laughs> you see these shadows in here? So I don't know, maybe I was just feeling like I wanted to have something a little neutral or whatever. I think maybe these shimmers kind of intrigued me in here, this nice dark brown. But with it being Catrice, I'm not exactly sure how the quality is gonna be on this. Let me go ahead and do a couple of swatches. Okay. Okay, so the pigmentation is actually not bad. That gold shimmer, ooh, that's pretty. And this one is really pretty as well. And that dark matte, it definitely has some pigmentation going on. So let me swatch this. It looks kind of like a coral type of shimmer, but it's like a, I don't know, kind of looks like a, a muted coral in the palette. But let me see. <gasps> what? Now that shocked me. I didn't think that was going to do that. Okay, Catrice, all right. I'm actually glad I picked this up. That, oh, honey, yes. Okay, nice, Instabay. <laughs> now, I also picked up this BH Cosmetics palette. It's called Lavi Dunn Prints. I, listen, why did I buy this, y'all? I don't, listen. I need to go to Makeup Shoppers Anonymous. I really do. I don't know why I bought this. I mean, the packaging is cute. And, you know, it's, it's cute. I mean, the colors, they cute. They cute. When I think about it, though, it's like I shouldn't even bought this because BH Cosmetics, y'all know they pull up or shut up results was abysmal, okay? But I bought it, you know. So these are the colors inside there are some basic neutrals on the top and some beautiful bright bold colors on the bottom very pretty i'm assuming that's why i bought this <laughs> i had a lapse in judgment didn't remember that i wasn't supposed to buy this and i have it so anyways i got that now, I also grabbed this new e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. When I saw this, of course, I was like, ooh, they trying to come for Morphe, but how they gonna do that with a pump? Mm, don't think so. So, <laughs> yeah, I went ahead, grabbed this. Now, the first time I sprayed it, I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Nice little, you know, nice little mist or whatever. But... I used it once when I had done my makeup and I guess I needed to like 
you know get a couple of sprays out the way because when i sprayed it on my face i got a burst of droplets i was not a happy camper so my suggestion if you do try this out <clears throat> if you do try this out spray it a couple times first and make sure you're going to get that mist and then use it um Uh, it doesn't really it just has a light a light scent of mist you know it doesn't have a scent to it to me it's just like whatever um it dries down i don't know is this supposed to be matte it says up to a 10 hour wear i don't know i don't see where it says matte or um dewy but i feel like it's kind of just like a natural a natural finish quite honestly it doesn't feel like it's matte or dewy to me. It's just like a natural finish. But anyways, I picked this up and I'll give you my thoughts on it because I'm going to be using that. Now I have a few more items that I purchased from Indie Brands. I think, are these all black owned? Are they all black owned? I think they might be all black owned. This one here is from Prime Beauty. This is a bronzer. It's called Brownser in the shade Brownsville. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Brownser in the shade Brownsville. And so this is what this bronzer looks like. So, I don't know, we'll see. It looks like it'll give me, actually this looks like it will bronze me up real nice to be honest with you looking at it. Yeah, so I'll be trying this out. I got a few palettes. This one is from BBS Cosmetics. I think my girl Lily um, told me about this brand. This is the Queen's Flower Palette. Look at that um, artwork on there. Really pretty coloring. This one is cruelty free. And there is a mirror in here as you can see. These are the colors in this palette very pretty very colorful very vibrant i really like it it's very very pretty the blues the greens there's a black in there yeah it's very pretty so yeah this is from bbs cosmetics just in case you want to check them out this one is from beauty by stony it's the remedy eyeshadow palette i really like this palette for some reason it just feels like quality to me it just has a nice quality feel like i don't know like if you have the tati palette then you'll probably know what i mean like her palette it feels like quality i mean the person behind it i don't really know anymore but the palette itself really feels like nice quality <laughs> so yeah, this is a 12 shade eyeshadow palette, vegan and cruelty free, honey. But this is Beauty by Stony Remedy. Mirror inside as well. And these are the colors. And it kind of makes me feel like it's a little bit of a muted version of the last palette because it doesn't have like the blues and everything in there. And the shadows, you know, aren't as vibrant, aren't as bright. But it's definitely a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palette. Very pretty color story. I like it a lot. Really, really pretty. These next two palettes are from Beauty Dame. This first one is Into the Night. And I believe um, I saw them on Instagram. And so this is what the back looks like. I don't have that much information. If I decide to review these palettes, then I will get more information. I'm assuming that she's the owner or creator because she is on the back of both of these palettes. So yeah, it's called Beauty Dame. And this one is Into the Night. These have mirrors in them as well. And this is the color story for this palette very blue green heavy um it just kind of makes me feel like that smoky you know that smoky look smoky eye pop of purple and this beautiful orange in here so yeah when i see this i definitely think like a grungy smoky type look very pretty and this one is called into the tropics <laughs> into the tropics and honey child <laughs> This palette is so pretty. It's so pretty. And I got both of these on sale for like 16 bucks. 
very reasonable very reasonable they came out with another palette i believe i think it's like the bronx palette or something a very like neutral type palette i don't remember if it was warm tone or not but a very neutral type palette so of course i didn't get that honey i don't want it <laughs> okay but yeah these palettes i think i both got them on sale for like 16 bucks but look at these colors, honey. We got some greens, purples, blues, pink, red, orange, yellow. Yes. So, yeah. You know what? I might use this to do like a bright, colorful look coming up soon. Because this palette is just cute. It's all around cute. I like it. And I only got one more, you guys. This one, actually, both of my girls did videos on this palette. This is the pink palette. And it is from Pink Lips Cosmetics, I believe. Am I reading that right? Pink Lips. <laughs> but yeah, it is just simply the pink palette. And that it is. It is a pink palette, okay? But both my girls, Lily and DJ, did videos for this palette. I will try and remember to link them for you guys so you can check them out because oh my goodness they really did this palette justice both of them knocked out some fire looks using this pink palette and it's so so pretty it kind of gives me the feels of when i saw this i was like because i was kind of going back and forth as far as whether or not i wanted to get the smoky glow when she restocked and after I ordered this, I was like, I don't really wear pinks and purples and stuff that much. So I was like, I really don't need the smoky glow. Having this as well as like the Natasha Denona Love palette, the ABH volume four, uh, Norvina that I just gotten, like I got pink and purple coming out of my ears. So, but this palette, oh my goodness. I don't remember the price on it. I'll have to look it up and put it on the screen, but for the price of this palette, yo, a serious, serious value. And look at these shades. Oh, they're so pretty. I couldn't resist. At first I said I wasn't getting it because I'm like, I don't need that. But I, <laughs> the price got me to break down, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I got it. And I'm so glad I did because honey, when I saw these looks, I was like, yes, I'm going to go ahead and tear that palette up, okay? So that's it you guys for today's little small haul slash beauty chat video. You know, I like these videos because I can just kind of go through my latest purchases, show them to you, give you my thoughts and feelings, and it kind of like hypes me up to use them, you know, to be like, okay, I want to use that next or whatever. But, and also hopefully it gives you guys some ideas, you know, I'm not trying to encourage anyone to be a shopaholic like myself not by any means don't do it okay but if you already have that affliction you know i know you always on the hunt looking for different stuff like i am <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully i can assist you with that but anyways those are my latest items and my thoughts hopefully you guys had a good time thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit that like leave me a comment leave me a comment i know i don't get to them right away but i love reading them and i do respond so yeah thanks for watching and i will see you on the next video toodles